Tech Tips, Episode 4. Today I'm going to show you how to mirror or copy over a Gmail account. This would be useful for many things. If you want to you know, give somebody access to all of your past emails, but you don't want them to have your current email's password, so what you would do is you would create a separate uh, you would mirror your Gmail account over and then they and then you would send them, you know, the username and password for that. Also, um, if you uh, say you're in court and you need to, a very good example is if you're in court and your lawyers need all of your email history, but you don't want to give them access to your account and you don't want to have to print everything out because everything's dated and, and, and it helps them to have that timestamp on all of those emails. So, um, so and, and again, there's probably tons of other reasons why you would want to mirror your, your Gmail, um, but um, that's just a really big one that I can think of. So what you want to do is log into your current Gmail account. Here I created a dummy one. Oh, that's the other thing with mirroring your account. Instead of instead of forwarding your emails, if when you mirror your account, you're going to have all of these times, and also you're going to have all of the conversations between everyone. And so it's going to make sense for somebody else that's looking at your at your email for the first time. So what you want to do is go up to settings right here, and then click on settings. And then right over here, you go to forwarding and pop, go to enable pop for all mail. And hit save changes. Now, let me just go back real quick because this is important. Um, if you do enable pop for mail to rise from now on. Obviously, that's just gonna give you anything that you start getting. So if you don't want anybody to have any of your past email, but you want them to start getting everything that you're getting, then you would just put turn this one on instead of the enable pop for all mail. And that says right there, even mail that's already been downloaded. So so that's just something I, I wanted to make sure that uh, was clear. So we can go ahead and log out because we already enabled it. And then what you're gonna, what you're gonna do now is create a new account. John Doe, and let's do tech tips, tutorial, 2014. I know you can hear those keys on my keyboard. That's okay, you, didn't, you need some haptic feedback anyways. Keep you from falling asleep. I, -R -E. I can never read these, I have the hardest time. The. That's gotta be an H right there. I fail at this every time. Oh, gotta get my birthday in. I was born. Let's see, when was that? When am I gonna be born? 1980? Yeah, that seems reasonable. I uh, gotta agree to the terms of service. John Doe. That's the perfect photo for John Doe, actually. Next step. And continue to Gmail. Okay, so you see you just have the basic emails that you get from Google, you know. This is how you do this, all those types of things. I wonder if anybody's ever read those. It's like, probably not. Maybe everybody who actually thinks Tom is a real person on MySpace. Well, he is, but there's no sense trying to talk to him. Unless you're on Twitter, he actually talks to people on Twitter. He has some pretty good pictures as well. Go, go friend him on Twitter. Uh, great pictures, he travels a lot. I'm a little bit jealous, but hey, what do you get? 580 million? Uh, dollars for MySpace, that's awesome. Okay, what you're gonna do is go to accounts, settings up here in this new uh, John Doe account that you created. Go to uh, check mail from other accounts. So it's not gonna be under forwarding and pop, it's gonna be under accounts. Check mail from other accounts using pop3, uh, pop3 mail account you own. And I have to check this email address, here we go. Copy that, because that's the email that I'm going to mirror. Oh. Where'd you go? There it is. So 
I'll put that in there, next step. And you need to put in the password for that account. Um, I th I'm pretty sure that Google will leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server anyways. And that just means um, if you have like a Yahoo, a Hotmail account or a Yahoo account that basically if you get an email that it's going to forward it to this new Gmail account and then it's going to erase it off of their server so that you only have one existing copy of it. But I'm pretty sure if it's from Gmail to Gmail that it's going to leave a copy in both folders anyways. Um, and then label incoming messages. No, the reason you don't want to do that, well, I, I don't know, you might want to do it, but the reason I don't do it is because, you know, that's one label that you've added to all your emails, and I, I just don't understand why you'd want to do it. Archive incoming messages. No, I just passed that up. You want it to basically be uh, exactly mirrored how your other account is. Otherwise, what's the point? You might as well just give the person or somebody else access to your main account. Um, add account does not support leaving messages on the server. See, so this is the message you get. It doesn't support leaving messages and that's because it, it already does anyways. So just unclick that and put in the password for that account. No. Uh, no. So this is something else. If you don't want that person to be sending out emails saying that they're you, select no. Because <laughs> this basically gives them access to get your mail and send from your mail. So I hit finish. And go back to your inbox. And it does take a few minutes to start coming through. But it will start to come through. And I, I, mailed, I uh, mirrored one of my accounts recently and I had like 4,000 and because it had tons of attachments, it pretty much took five or six hours for it to pull over my entire inbox. And so, you know, here we go. It's coming through. Google Plus Team. Nope, not yet. Let's make sure I have all my settings good. Accounts. No, no, no. Yeah, see, so right here, prior, we had this keep Gmail's, copy, uh, keep Gmail's copy in the inbox, and we had selected that on the prior, on our, on our original account, and so that's why we didn't need to worry about that. Okay, I'm going to pause here, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, we're back, and so basically all I did is to, I just signed out, and then I signed back in, and when I signed back in, they had come through. Uh, what I want to point out is, if you see here, we've got the 8.44 p.m. So you've got those three original emails that came through. And then because I created, because these emails were sent earlier on that original account, it did sort them and it put them back behind. So you've got your correct times, 2.33 p.m. It's actually 8.54 p.m. here. And so also you have all of your attachments. So I click on this one right here and I can download all of the attachments. So anything that anybody ever sent you, you'll still have. Uh, this is actually great as a backup tool. If you wanna back up your Gmail account in case, any, in case it gets hacked or, or anything like that, this is a great way to just have a copy of everything. And so uh, go through to the next uh, oh, inbox. I, I basically just wanna show you what are you doing? This is a conversation. So, um, this is my wife talking to me and then it's me talking to her. And so it's sorted and it just makes sense. It's easy to read. And if you forwarded it, it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't come through that good. And so, um, well, as well, another conversation. Now, what you let's say you want to make a copy of your Gmail account, but then you don't want anybody to have access to it anymore. You just wanted it to copy over everything that you had existing. And then you're done. You don't want them to get Because now, if I send, if I receive or send anything in that other account, this account is going to receive it. So I'm going to sign out of this one. I'm going to sign back in to the original one. And 
going to go over to settings and forwarding and pop, disable pop, save changes. And now they'll stop receiving my mail. All right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you out a lot. If it did, please like. Also, please subscribe. I'm going to put up another tutorial uh, pretty soon. I'm trying to do three or four a week. And I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.